Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, who's this next guest, Dave Gabbard? I'm just going to turn to you. This next guest? Guest. He's only one. Yes. All right. For the first guest, Talking Duck. Uh, Talking Duck. Talking Duck for 2019. No CWD here. No CWD. No. You know. Uh, uh, Well, unless, you know, ducks has chronic wading disease. Chronic. You know, they're out there wading around in the water. You said that that deer y'all saw That deer is seen the other day in front of the blind (laughs) walking across our flooded field. He had chronic wading disease. Uh, but, Jeff Martin. Uh, not Jeff Martin. All right, Jeff Martin. My, my good friend, Jeff Martin, hunting companion, and plus TWRA area manager up there over Real Foot, the yep. Northwest Territories, as I used to call it. So if anybody should tell us uh, what's what's been going on this duck season, uh, it's got to be Jeff. So, Jess, I know you're in the duck blind uh, a lot. So uh, yep. we've turned into the, the January now. We're tired of talking about chronic wasting disease, and we want to talk about ducks. Uh, where are they? First <laughs> is question is, where are they? On the refuge? Well, uh, Larry, in my expert opinion, they are not here. Okay. And wh- and why? Uh, they, they, they have not got here yet. Uh, uh, warm weather, a uh, lot of water up. North of us, uh, uh-huh. the northern zone of Missouri is closed. Their season's over. No pressure on them. They don't, there's no reason for them to move. And so right now we're at, uh, this is uh, January uh, January the 5th, Saturday, mm-hmm. January the 5th. Where are you compared to January 5th last year? Uh, maybe you, a third. Yeah. If, a do. third? Probably a third. A third. Wow. And so last year was not a good year either, was it? I mean, uh, well, we had we had a good year last year uh, when the, all the ice and stuff was on. Uh, a lot of ducks showed up. We had about three weeks of really good hunts. And three weeks. Year, I mean, you just have to work real hard to kill. You know, two to ten a day. You kill ten, you've had a big day. Wow! And we're we're talking about twenty-one days out of a sixty-day season was good. I mean, so you're right. That's about a third. I, even even my math is not that that bad, you know. Well, so. the, the, ref, the refuge numbers are low. Uh, West Tennessee is, not, is a, a big ocean right now with all the water. Yeah. Uh, rivers out. Well, a few ducks that are here are scattered all over. and uh, It's just uh, one of those years. Well, I'm yeah. not going to use that term uh, uh, GW. You know what that is in the scientific <laughs> world. Global what? Yeah. Yeah, global wetness. Uh, global oh, right. global wetness. Around so, here. Uh, and Jeff, of course, hunts at what, what we call uh, the Taj Mahal, right out of Halls, Tennessee, on a forked and, deer. Yeah, and then you got. Do you need any more water, Jeff? We got some. Oh. <laughs> No, in fact, I'll give some people some if they want any. <laughs> yeah, to bring your own buckets. Yeah, the layman yeah. and and uh, will say this, and uh, he'll say he'll, they'll come by me and say. Man, this is a great day for a duck. You know, it's been raining and everything. I said, no, the ducks are not here. You know, yeah. we. we oh, but uh, it's just it's just one of years. You know, this happens yeah. once every about once every eight or nine years. You'll get one of these, and it's just uh, just hunt through it, and enjoy it for what it is, and go on. Well, yeah. now, so let's talk about now. Dave, Dave has been up there and everything. He, he said recently, what, what was that that, you, that y'all killed? What was that duck that y'all killed? Oh, know? I just want, we were having lunch earlier the other day, and and we were talking ducks. And uh, I said, yeah, New Year's Eve, I, we was up there hunting and uh, killed two mallards, our daily teal. One teal. <laughs> one shoveler and a long dart. And a long dart. Yeah, and Larry looks at me and says, what's a long dart? And Julio. Ex- ex- and, 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 uh, Julio, explain to our, two, our listening audience, our two what listening is a long audience. dart? What's a long that dart? Will be, that will be the beautiful hooded merganser. Uh, be- That's right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure some of your audience out there remember the old long darts. Yes. Well, yeah. you take a hooded merganser in yeah. sub-freezing temperatures, and lay him out out there and get him froze. Yeah. And if you get bored, you can hang him by his feet and pitch him, and it'd be like a long dart. Like a long dart. That's right. L A W L A W N D A R T. Yeah. A long, long dart. dart. Google it. Google it. <laughs> well, Jeff, I know that uh, weather, we keep waiting. 
you know, uh, and Dave, you talk talk about this too. Are are our seasons out of whack now? I mean, you know, uh, we wait till uh, uh, some of the best hunts are after it's closed. I've yeah. I've seen that before. I don't know if our seasons are out of whack. I think you know, throughout history, you look that they have gone and had to adjust calendars. Yeah, you know, it's just a figure of, uh, you know, well. We're in January now. Yeah. Well, maybe January isn't what January was at one time. Now well, you're getting back there. Well, you know. Ducks don't use a calendar. That's right. Ducks are on their own calendar. That's right. And, and, and talking about weather, I was looking at extended forecasts in the next 10 days. At night, we do not have any temperatures below freezing. So as a, du- so as a duck hunter, you still don't give up. They still go, right? right. I mean, uh, because... Uh, killing ducks is only part of the situation. That's right. It's such a social hunt. Uh, you enjoy it for what it is, the, the camaraderie and the food, the uh, time spent in the blind. You know, killing the duck is extra. Well, t- yeah. tell our listeners, and you've told us before, uh, describe the Taj Mahal to my listeners who think a duck uh, blind is uh, five guys standing uh, with their feet in the water <laughs> and, and the dog over on a tree. Talk about uh, talk about your facility. Well, it, it, it's eighteen hundred square. The body is eighteen hundred square feet. Golly. It'll accommodate twenty people. Got a dining room, bathroom, full kitchen. Uh, depending on what day it is, whether Dave Gabber's cooking or Miss Debbie, uh, it's, we ride you right up to it in a, a ATV and uh, you get off in there. I've had guys come down there and take their boots off, put their house shoes on. Amazing, amazing. And I know there's other places like this, but, uh, uh, and I know one of the coldest days, me and old Gene Smith up there, we, uh, we made the trip to the Taj Mahal, and uh, y'all were waiting on us because it was, it, it, the closer we got to the Taj Mahal, the temperature dropped one degree every <laughs> mile. And we finally got up there, and uh, you had all, oh, you had a, the entourage in there, Bobby Wilson and, uh, Rizzuto, all, right. all of them were in there, and they were all fussing because we were coming. We were late, and I had to tell them, "Look, we were driving ten miles an hour, you know, just to get there." And duck hunters will do that. Mm. I've, I've seen the worst days in the world, the duck hunters. So I got to ask you, as I asked Dave, when that recent storm came through, and that water that water was coming at you, and you know what I'm talking about this this recent okay. storm. Uh, do you have a uh, what my what my mama used to call a freighty hole? All y'all gathering <laughs> down in the ground. Uh, what describe? Oh, so, yeah, there's there's twenty of them right out front, right next to your gun. When it's doing that, you get there ready to go. <laughs> he said, "When the storms come across that water, well, buddy, hey, we appreciate you calling us, and uh, I know that uh, that Dave, uh, the experience is what's part of it, and I know that Jeff." Talk about what's going on. You you kind of mentioned it there, but you have a real job, too. So talk about what's going on in your area as far as waterfowl. Uh, well, uh, Drinky's numbers are really low uh, compared to what you know, we had this time last year. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 you know, some of the refuges are holding big numbers of snow geese. Uh, those refuges are pretty well the food's eaten out, but... Uh, it's just, it's, I mean, as far as TWRA area manager, we're not used to this either. No. Uh, no. These low numbers. It, it puts us kind of in a panic mode, but, you know, we realize it is what it is. You set the table, but you can't make them come. I like that. I like that. That's what my grandma always used to say. But, yeah. You know. As long as you got a crappy pole at your house, you got something to fall back on. That is yeah. true. And uh, we'll probably talk to, we're hoping to talk to Ronnie Caps a little bit later. I'm sure he's. Available for both of those. Hey, Jeff, thank you, buddy. Y'all thank continue. You, we'll talk to you. We'll send Gabbard up there. All right. Okay. Thank you, Jeff Martin, uh, up at the top you know, of my home. And that's what I like when we freeze up, because we've got the equipment to keep our hole open yeah. and, and, and everything. But when, when you knock a duck down on the ice, it's a race between the dog and the eagle to who gets the duck first. I thought about that. <laughs> hey, I wonder, Gene, you hadn't heard it. Uh, What's the eagle situation? I meant to ask him about that. Uh, this kind of weather, does, uh, is our eagles uh, still coming? To... Oh, yeah, lots of eagles. Lots of eagles. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I've seen them up there when the ice at Real Foot. 
but uh, so they'll hear. They're here just because it's that time of the year. Oh yeah, they, you know, and we we we're, we're getting a real uh, large uh, resident. You might call them resident uh, eagles that stay year round. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, the and Real Foot's one of the best places. You hadn't been there. You need to go up to Real Foot Lake and. Uh, and uh, not only is it great food up there. But, but up uh, there, you know, we're not too far from Lake Lauderdale Refuge, and it holds a few big golden eagles. It does, know, yes, year. right. Yeah. And you watch see them big goldens compared to a bald eagle. They are. They are huge. They are huge. Also up above is a National Wildlife Refuge. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can go to that and uh, oh. some of the other places. Uh, but be prepared. There is no lack of water. I mean, that's, no. just, uh, that's just the way it is. So uh, let's take a break. Come back, and we're going to talk to our good friend Tommy Aiken. I know for sure uh, he's been duck hunting since uh, Grant was president, I think, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. But we're uh, right back, Outdoors with Larry Ray, here in Memphis on ESPN 790. 